A lot of folks don't realize that narcotics and NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications inhibit healing. I often will show people the Journal of Neural Immunology. And this was written in the late 1990s where they did a review article involving what's the connection between the nervous system and the immune system. And they found that morphine, meaning narcotics, morphine and its derivatives, that means Vicodin, you know, Norco, morphine, you know, any kind of narcotic, uh, Tylenol with codeine, that morphine and its derivatives inhibit all cells of the immune system. So it means that every cell of the immune system, whether it's white blood cells, lymphocytes, neutrophils, you know, all the cells that were needed to fight infection, that were needed to heal ligaments, tendons, cartilage, meniscus. You know, we all know that the immune system is our surveillance system. Like, in other words, when something needs repair, when we talk about something breaking down in our body, whether it's a musculoskeletal tissue or liver tissue, whatever tissue, it's going to be the immune system that repairs it. So narcotics, meaning, you know, norco, morphine, you know, oxycodone, all the things, they all they, they all inhibit all the cells of the immune system, and that means the function of the immune system. Anti-inflammatory medications work in a slightly different way, but they stop the inflammatory process. That's why they're called anti-inflammatories. You need the inflammatory process to heal most injuries. For instance, you get a ligament injury, a tendon injury, a muscle injury. What basically happens is tissue and within those tissue cells burst open. Those cells release mediators like arachidonic acid and other fatty acids and other substances that attract the immune system to the area. Well, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories stop prostaglandin synthesis and in the process of the uh, substances getting released from the cells Basically, you need prostaglandins in there to continue the inflammatory healing process. In other words, the normal process in the body is cells burst open, they release sugar and fat. That sugar and fat then acts as a stimulus to get the immune system to the area to repair the area. If you take an anti-inflammatory, you might feel better, you know, a day, two days, but you're actually slowing or stopping the normal inflammatory healing reaction of the body. That normal inflammatory healing reaction of the body after an injury occurs for many, many months, even years. But most of the reaction, as we know, occurs over a two-day, three-day, two-week, three-week, you know, six-week cycle. So it's normally about a six-week cycle where the inflammatory or proliferative phase of healing. And if you take an anti-inflammatory or a narcotic medication in that time period, especially if you use it every day, you're actually going to slow or stop the healing process. And guess what happens if you slow or stop the healing process? Do you have more pain or do you have less pain? You, of course, you're going to have more pain because you're stopping the healing process. So if you stop the healing process, the injury continues and the con injury worsens and then what happens? You need a higher dose of narcotic or you need a higher dose of anti-inflammatory medication. So it isn't, I don't believe a lot of the times when a medication stops working, quote unquote, I don't believe that it's a tolerance issue, it's a, an injury issue. Your injury is actually getting worse. Your injury is getting worse. Why would the injury get worse? Because you're stopping the healing reaction. You're stopping the normal healing inflammatory reaction, not just in the injured area, but in all the other areas. Like every day I'm breaking down tissue. Every day you're breaking down tissue. So if you are taking an anti-inflammatory or narcotic medication every day, you're stopping the healing reaction all over your body. And you know as well as I do, anybody who's been on narcotics, especially if you talk to their loved ones, they'll tell you they're not the same person. They're not the same person. And People come to Caring Medical, this is one of the main points, people come to Caring Medical because they want to get off of anti-inflammatory medications and they want to get off of narcotic medications. Why do they want to get off of anti-inflammatory medications and narcotic medications is one is it's not doing the trick, it's not working. They may have some temporary pain relief but it's not resolving the problem. So 
if we want to stimulate healing by prolotherapy, then in the ideal setting, we have to wean people off of narcotics and anti-inflammatory medication, or we have to stop the anti-inflammatory medication or narcotic medication. Sometimes people can do it right away. I'll have people on hundreds of milligrams of stuff and say, Doc, I saw your video or I saw the stuff that you wrote on the internet. I've, even though I feel awful, I've gotten off of this stuff in the last month and man, I'm clean as I come here today. Man, I, don't, I want prolotherapy to work. So realize when I talk about anti-inflammatory medication or narcotic medication and you know, I try to get people not to use those things, I'm coming from the bent that people want to get healed of their original injury. And sometimes you've got to get off of the medication to get your immune system strong enough to respond to prolotherapy. I don't negate that some people need narcotic medication or some people need anti-inflammatory medications. I, on rare occasions, will prescribe those things, but just realize that isn't the norm. The norm is Dr. Hauser gets people off of long-term narcotics. He gets people off of long-term anti-inflammatory medications by helping the people regain the ability to heal. So sometimes we do that with just prolotherapy and getting them off of the medications. Sometimes we'll change their diet. A positive thought has a positive effect on the body, so I'll talk to them about the things that they can do as far as uh, you know, positive thinking, positive affirmations, reduce their stress, you know, be, be, uh, invest in relationships, you know, make sure all their relationships are good and we talk about that. And then sometimes we do have to get them on natural hormone replacement and, or we have to get them on an herbal regime. But all these things are done to help their body regain the regenerative capabilities. We get the person's physiology into the anabolic mode. I can tell you definitively that narcotic medications and anti-inflammatory medications put the body in a physiologic state of catabolism or the body keeps breaking down. I mean, I can tell you that for sure. Whether or not somebody wants to argue with me, I'm just telling you that you could test somebody and get them on those medications and you'll see that the body gets weaker, 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 more and more catabolic. So that's not a good situation to be in long term. There's been pains where I've had pinched nerves where for a very short time I needed narcotic medications, where I've needed anti-inflammatory medications. So I'm not against it in the right scenario, but I wouldn't want to be on it long term. So that's all I'm saying, you know, when I passionately plead to people to try to get resolution of their pain. And sometimes you have to go outside the box, go see a prolotherapy doctor, come to a place like Caring Medical, you know, let us correct your physiology, let us get it anabolic, even though it may be hard to get off of narcotics or anti-inflammatory medications, you have to think of it that you're trying to finally get resol resolution of this pain. And if you do that in conjunction with prolotherapy, more often than not, the end result is just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Mm -hmm.